Perry's been focused on is looking at temperature and how raising animals at different temperatures affects what their anatomy ultimately looks like or how their body is built. So most salamanders undergo a metamorphosis and they move on to land, but the ones that we're using stay in water their whole lives. So they're affected by the temperature of the water. And so we were able to manipulate what their body looked like by raising them at these different temperatures. And then ultimately what she did was look at how the differences in their body makeup affects how fast they can escape from potential predators. Dr. Ward has taught me how to be a good scientist. So how to follow through with an idea, come up with a question, do the research behind it, put the work in, and then you know analyze the data and think of big picture. We work together and frame out the question and frame out what the methods will be like. Think about what story we're trying to tell because really that's what you're doing in research. You're trying to tell a story. You're trying to explain some phenomena that happens. The animals are put into a container that they have enough room to swim around in and we put a camera over them so that we can view um, them dorsally swimming. With a smaller fish, if you tap a container, the vibrations will make them swim. But with the salamanders, you have to nudge their arm. Them. Yeah, you touch them and then they swim. And then from that video, I actually sit and track different points along the body as they're swimming. You know, it's really easy to get psyched about an idea and getting in the lab and you're getting dirty and you're, mm -hmm. you're learning about how animals move in certain environments. And then you start to analyze the data and, okay, that can get a little more boring. Yeah. And then you have to get to the end and present it. And sometimes people trail off and they don't want to complete the circle. But if I can push them through to the presentation point, then then they see what it's like to be a scientist. They see from beginning to end what my That's career so is like. It. Well, before the conference, I analyzed all my data. I put it all together into a PowerPoint and practiced it a couple times. But I love presenting, um, especially research presentations. I used to not like presenting at all. There, in vertebrate zoology, you made me do a presentation with a group. And it turned out really well but I was not excited for it. So then when you told me I had to do a poster at research day, I was like, no, I'm not really feeling this. And then I made my poster and I, you know, people started coming over and I was like, I love doing this. I get to talk about my work and people are excited. So that was my first research day. And then the next year I did my first talk at research day. And yeah, uh, it was probably was one good. of the best times I've had. Um, so I've really taken it to work with my students. Um, they give practice talks. We talk about what the goal of a presentation is, but I really appreciate being able to have them do research day and get the chance to, to really brag about what they do because they work really hard. Once I started presenting research and the work that I was involved in and I was doing and I knew so much about, I wanted to get it out to everyone that I could. And I think that research day really lets us get our message out and teaches us that communicating what you work on, no matter what it is, science, you know, history, anything, is so important. And being able to have the skill to actually talk to people about it on a level they can understand and relate to uh, is so important. So Research Day was, I think, the perfect opportunity here for that.